Welcome to the first uh, video of a series of videos that we're going to be putting in your AP Physics 1 class. So we're going to start with some of the uh, basic math review. Um, these are just a few stuff that we will often use. However, if you want to look at some other stuff, you can find them on the back of your book on the Appendix A side. So we'll start with the metric system. We're going to use the metric system because that's what scientists have agreed upon. And we, you guys, are acting like scientists, so we're going to use that SI system. And it's easy to communicate with others using the uh, metric system. So we have these three quantities. Uh, you have the length, symbol L, mass, symbol M, and time, whose symbol is lowercase t. Do not get confused with this symbol as the unit. So because they have different unit, the unit for length would be, yes, you are right, meter, whose symbol is lowercase m. And for mass would be gram, whose symbol is lowercase g. And then for time would be seconds, whose symbol is lowercase s. Although there are other bigger units and smaller units where you add prefixes in front of this base unit to make it smaller or larger. You've learned that in your basic science or math class. So take, take a look at those stuff, go back to it, and make sure you remember them. So there are two types of units, uh, as you probably remember. We have what we call base unit. It's the one that I've showed you a while ago. Those are the base unit. They're the basis for combining uh, other quantities in physics. For example, if you talk about speed, speed is a derived quantity. That means it's a combination of two base units, a base unit for length, and for time and then there are other units so we're gonna look into this we're gonna apply those stuff and there's some of the prefixes I mentioned that you should at least be able to remember quickly and know the symbol so please give a few seconds to look into those you may want to take notes of this in terms of remembering them and looking through your notes. Another concept that you'll have to uh, remember, you probably cover this a lot in, in chemistry class, it will be the scientific notation. So you probably have known how to write very large number and very small number so you could appropriately have a good model of it in terms of the number. So um, just a few things in terms of scientific notation. How do we write uh, stuff in terms of scientific notation? How do we end up with positive, negative exponent in a scientific notation? So just have a quick look on this. You can pause the video and take notes of it if you can't remember that. Now, uh, moving on, uh, there are ways to operate scientific notation. Uh, we probably rarely uh, apply this, but you know, we never know. We might end up with some of this stuff as we go along the way. So please uh, pause your video, take a moment to just review that. A multiplying, dividing exponent, so another thing. You pause again and, and take down some notes. Another uh, thing would be significant figures or digits, uh, commonly called sig figs. Uh, sig figs is kind of like a, a little uh, touchy uh, topic that, that we're going to get into because uh, we, can, we can write down significant digits based on the measurement, the valid digits in a measurement that we're using or based on the mathematical operation that we're working on or based on the measurement tool that we are using. Uh, this is a big deal when you were in chemistry. However, it's important uh, in AP Physics 1, uh, they probably just require you to write down three significant digits to, uh, for your final answer. But remember, AP 1 exam, um, they will not be picky about your final result as long as it's, it's close enough. 
uh, but they're gonna look at the process on how you end up with that result so it's important also to to understand how to write sig figs uh, or significant uh, figures so just a few rules on significant digits uh, so take a look at this again uh, you may want to copy this in your notes or you just review it uh, we're not going to give you a quiz on the basic math toolkit but we will see this uh, that you apply as we go on with our AP Physics 1 class. Another topic would be dimensional analysis. Um, dimensional analysis is important in trying to identify, suppose you have this equation and you derive this and then you're not sure whether this is the correct uh, equation that you've derived. So dimensional analysis is a great tool to be able to know whether do I really have the right equation? So say for example, if I look at the, this symbol, this symbol represents velocity. So if you're gonna look at the chart that represents velocity. So velocity is a derived quantity uh, taken from length and, and time versus time. So you look at the dimensions in here. So they wrote the dimension, the, the symbol for the quantity, but not the symbol for the unit. So, so you use that. Then sometimes you will see uh, some of the, these quantities are, these variables are placed in, in, uh, in brackets, and that means that's the quantity. That's not the the unit for it. That's not the dimension of of, of that particular uh, symbol. So let's write the dimension. So you you know that this is l over t. So that's length over time. So if you're gonna try to know and check whether you got the right um, dimensions in here, you have to know that the dimensions I will end up with this should be equal to this. So let's go ahead and find out. So this one represents the initial uh, velocity. So um, knowing that this is a quantity velocity as well, so we can write down the, uh, uh, the uh, dimension um, for that and we say that's lt right plus one half so we know that's a constant we can okay sorry uh so we can have the acceleration you look at acceleration it's l over t squared so we can write the dimension as l t squared and then we have the time which is squared so we can have that and we can see that we can cancel this so we ended up with this unit this one does it equal to l over t definitely not so therefore the equation that you have derived is not correct and that's a good way to know that uh, without trying to to plug the the quantities or or be able to solve the problem using this equation, you don't need to go into that in detail, but you have to check your equations. So let's take a look at this example. Suppose you, you're you looking at a formula for finding the period of a, a simple pendulum. So you are drawn between this equation or that equation. So using dimensional analysis, you're gonna be able to, to find which one would be the right equation. So the symbol T represents period. Uh, its uh, unit is in seconds. Uh, the unit of time, the same. Uh, so you know that if you derive this, you should end up with the same unit for for time. And knowing this is length, uh, its dimension is L. G is related to acceleration. So it has the same unit in terms of that, uh, which is L over T squared. So if you're looking at for the time, so we can just replace that with T because that's what we use for the dimension, then you should end up with a T on here. So um, we're not gonna go through with all the math, but um, we can look at this and do the opposite. So uh, you can go ahead and pause this video and, and try to derive the unit. Uh, and see if you can find which one would be the best equation. You can pause this and 
you should be able to after some uh, derivation some dimensional analysis that this is the right equation Another uh, concept that you have to remember would be unit conversion. Uh, we're going to do quite a bit of this, but we're not going to spend some time in class. So review uh, unit conversion. It's important that you know the conversion values, uh, the absolute conversion values of some units. And usually they will give you that. Uh, you don't need to memorize them. So they'll give you the equivalent uh, unit of measures for for each of those uh, different quantities but you'll have to convert them so this is a, a quick example so review some of those uh, unit conversion uh, that you have learned and that's uh, another thing that you will have to apply another one would be literal equation so these are uh, uh, solving uh, for one variable with, with, with different variables in an equation. Suppose you have this equation and and you will be asked, you are tasked to find the variable. Say for example, let's take a look at this uh, mathematical equation. So this is the equation and you'll be asked to find the velocity. So go ahead, pause the video and try to rearrange this equation and write down the variable that is unknown on the left side of the equal sign so we're going to look for v and try to derive it i will give you some time so you should be able to get this uh, working equation so <clears throat> that's a literal equation we will do a whole bunch of this in in our units so if you were confused on how we ended up with this, you can approach us and we will try to, to show you how. And don't worry because we will be practicing more of this. This is what makes AP Physics 1 algebra based. So we're going to apply those literal equations and be able to um, use them to find what we're looking for.